Well, hey, this is Dr. Scott. I'm going to make a little screen recording here about how to create your medium.com article and also how to post it onto our class magazine on, mine, on Medium, which is called Mindsets. So the first thing you have to do is make a Medium account, which um, I will let you do otherwise not on the screencast. Here's my account. So I'm just going to go open my account. You'll have a little icon like this on the right hand of your page. Scroll down to New Story hit it. There we go. And it opens up um, a blank blog page for you. And then I used one of those uh, verbiage generators, Laura Ipsum, if you know what that is, to create some text for us, which means nothing. It's all in Latin and it's meaningless. Um, but I wanted to show you what we would do. So here's my article. Um, I'll put in a title, which is, uh, let's see, let's call it how to create your own mindset parentheses article <laughs> on medium.com so there I go so I type in the title um, I've got all this text which you can just supply by the way you can you can write directly into the text box so even though I cut and pasted all that stuff in I can still add to it I can say well let's I tell you what let's add to it at the top of here I'll click here and I'll say this is a demo about how to create or just to cut and paste your own mindset article on Medium. Try it. Ta -da. All right, so anyway. The point is you've got your text, you've got your article, that's the part you have to do, you're the author. Um, you click you click over here on New Story, which we already did, and put in your title, in the title box, put in your text. There's a couple other things I can show you really quickly. Anywhere that you want to insert um, a graphic, and let's say right at the top is where I would always recommend, then if you start a new paragraph you get this plus button over here. Click on this plus button, you've got a number of different possibilities. You can add an image from your own hard drive um, or from your phone. But better yet, you can also search for an image on Uplash, Upsplash, type in any keyword that you want. I think I'll type in, hmm, what am I going to type in? Let's type in Mindset and just see what it finds. It types in random words. And sometimes you've got to kind of think about different random words. Let's use this one. That's kind of cute. I've often found that the more random the photograph, the better it works. Anyway, the point with Upsplash is it gives an author credit, but it's completely copyright free for you, so as long as you leave in the little caption down here, it's fine. And so I would strongly recommend that you find different places to to appropriately insert. Here I'll put in another paragraph. I'll put plus to appropriate, appropriately insert new illustrations. I'm going to try Latin because I'm using all this lore and ipsum. Ah, okay, which one do you like? Let's see, which one do I like? Uh, I like that one. Um, by the way, sometimes I have to use several different keywords. I don't like what I found the first time around. Put another one in here. Let me show you how that would work. So let's say that I, I type in the word, I don't know, medium, uh, just as a random word. And, you know, I don't really like any of those, so maybe I should say magazine instead. So don't be afraid to ty try different keywords. Um, by the way, if you, put in an, uh, if you put in a keyword or you put in an image you don't like, then you just erase it by hitting the delete button. So you can put these things in and take them out really, really fast. It's incredibly nice. Um, I'm going to do excitement this time. Uh, I never tried that one. Oh, best summer ever. That sounds good. That's us, right? Isn't it? All right. Um, you can also embed these on the left side of the text, in the middle, which is the default. You can make it even bigger if you want to. You can make it really huge, maybe at the top. I'm going to put this one over on the side just for fun. So look how already, even though I have a nonsensical text, I already have something that looks very visually appealing. couple other things to show you, then I'm done. All right. So it's very easy to, um, it's very easy to do something like this. I'm going to highlight this word at the top of the paragraph, and then I can turn this into a big title can of capital. 
I can make the whole thing large or like that if I want, if I'm adding subheadings or headings or just um, whatever might be appropriate there. Um, of course, I like that. All right, goody. How about like that? Goody. No, nah, didn't like that. All right, so once you've played around, you've got the idea. I've already got something that looks pretty darn good. Um, now you're ready to publish. So once you're ready to publish, do one other thing. It'll be first published only under your own name. If that's what you want, that's fine. But if you want to add it to a publication, as soon as you give me your handle, I'll be, you'll have a link over here for Mindsets Magazine. So here we go. And if you want me to add you to these other things, that's fine. So now I'm saying I'm adding that draft to Mindsets Magazine. Now I'm ready to publish. And one final really important step is to add tags. So I'm going to say blogging. Notice that when I put in keywords, it tells me how many people are reading these things. 32,000 people are reading about blogging. So I'm going to put that tag in there. Um, let's see. What else should I put in here? Mindsets. Uh, Mindset has 14.6 thousand readers. They might want to read your article. Uh, how about, what else can I do? How about education and psychology? I'm just going to throw some things in here really fast. There's 66,000 people reading about psychology. And let's see, what's the last one? Writing. How about writing? There's 205,000 people reading about writing. So you can do up to five of these tags. Highly recommended. It's great if you allow curators to recommend your story. I had several of my students get recommended, and they got uploaded to magazines with half a million readers. Seriously. I'm not kidding. It hasn't happened to me. Mad. Well, I got uploaded, but not to the half million reader magazines. And then I just say publish now. And now I'm done. Story added to mindsets. I'll have to approve it. Um, that's just to keep out any trolls that might come crawling along. I know you're not a troll. Your story is published. This is a really good idea. Share it on Facebook. Share it on Twitter. Copy the story link. If you don't push your stories out there, nobody's going to read them. And a whole class needs to work on this together. Once you've published, people will be able to clap for your article over here, which is great. You can't clap for your own article, though, so it won't let me. You cannot applaud your own story. Ha, ha, ha. But you know what? all the 60 other people in the class can and getting claps is like getting likes on Facebook or whatever that really means that things are great if you want to read other things I've written you can go to the bottom of any of my articles it will link to your other articles I'm gonna stop now so this doesn't become too long cannot wait to read your mindsets article in our new mindsets magazine oh I guess I should show you mindsets magazine this is what it looks like oh I can't show you alright I won't